Hello, my name is Scott Middlebrooks. I work here at ASML in the research department. And for today's whiteboard session, I'll be answering the question, how do we generate extreme ultraviolet light? You may not realize it, but there's a, a paradigm shift happening now in semiconductor manufacturing. And to put things in perspective, we have up here on the board an electromagnetic spectrum. For the last several decades, our scanner has been using light that exists here at deep UV at about 193 nanometers. Now we want to make the leap from 193 nanometers to 13.5 nanometers. Now this is basically called EUV. It's extreme ultraviolet light. It's almost X-ray. We want to do this because with a smaller wavelength of light, we can make smaller features with uh, crisper resolutions. The trouble with this is that this light doesn't occur naturally on Earth. It occurs in outer space, but here on Earth, we have to generate it. And I'll talk about how we do that here at ASML. In the clean room, or the fab, our scanner sits here. Under the clean room is a basement. It's, it's called the subfab. Now we start here with just a simple CO2 laser. This laser then goes through an amplification stage where we amplify its power 10,000 times through five separate amplification stages, such that the output is at a power of about 20 kilowatts, uh, with peak power of about several megawatts. The reason we have this much power is because we're gonna lose a lot in transmission up into the clean room. And we use a system called the beam transport system to bring this laser pulse up into the clean room floor. Then it enters what we call a vessel. Now on top of this vessel is a generator that drops in little bitty droplets of the metal tin. The size of these droplets is about 30 microns. We have all kinds of cameras and actuators now to make sure that we can hit each one of these droplets of tin with two pulses of this laser. The first pulse takes the tin and kind of flattens it. Then we hit it again with a second bigger pulse that obliterates it, it vaporizes it. We then create a plasma. And when we create this plasma, energy is released as light and the wavelength of this light is at extreme ultraviolet. We then collect this light with a parabolic mirror, we then focus it at a point called the intermediate focus point, and then we bring it into the scanner so that we can image our patterns. And that's it. If you have any questions, please post them below, and if you like what you see here, please follow us. Thank you.